Welcome back to another episode of This is the Police. We are on day 30, as noticed by the 3-0 right there. It is Tuesday, August 13th. And uh, this is our continuing mission to become the richest we can in 180 days. We are a sixth of the way through it. And uh, we'll see if we wind up in the river. If we have a horse in our bed or we get fired by the mayor or we become millionaires. Who knows? Who knows? But let's, uh, let's go ahead and get moving here. Uh, Debbie's Cafe charged with health and safety violations. Yep, I ate there last night and got sick this morning. Uh, Buying a report, more deaths and births in Freeburg. That means the population is declining. Red Cat rescues girl from rapist. Uh oh. Good job, Red Cat. Wang. And a two. Uh, so three. It's just, I wonder if we ever get a new car. Let's see. Huh? All right, Percy. I'm suffering an extremely severe anxiety attack and I can't concentrate on anything. Can I go home? I can't fire this dude, so, yeah, let him go. Go Go ahead, buddy. Let's get going. Start today. Let's see what we got today. And a little uh, Ludo von Beethoven. Already all in overture. Dump, dump. Dump, dump. Okay. So, let's uh, start right here. Uh, don't need anybody. Can't hire anybody, no backlogs. Oh, fire all the little cops. Didn't do that. Uh, hired Asian cops. Oh. Try not to be discriminatory. Uh, we're going to request all of these. Okay, and the sands is just if I want to, like, off cops or do whatever. But, okay, um, deputy, send somebody to the police academy. Who do we want to go to? Uh, Kendall, you're the only one that hasn't been. Send Kendall. Okay. Except that boo. Oh, outdoor party. Eh, no. No parties for you. Alright, so, Lisa Simpson, daughter of uh, Marge and Homer Simpson, and brother to, or sister to, God, eh, sister to Bart Simpson. Um, was able to brilliantly pass all their exams because there's more than one person. Um, they've earned a boost. Okay, so we are good to go. Um, De Desire Park. Tyree Manny first called in a report of a fight between a little girl's father and a dog lover whose Rottweiler frightened the child. While the men were busy settling matters, the dog was spotted running towards the amusement park. <laughs> uh -oh. All right, Chen and Kendall. Go take care of that. Protect the kiddos. $8,000. I'm not making a whole lot of money here, folks. Investigations. I don't have enough for those yet. Okay. Oh, fender caught. Officer's unharmed. Good job. Good job. Good job, people. Get everybody back home real quick. Okay. Unlawful assembly. Same city hall is an unhappy target of a spontaneous demonstration. So 20 people gathered in protest against the increased garbage tax. Well, you know, put, use less garbage. You know, recycle more, man. And peacefully, but our demand is because city officials. Uh, I'm going to put my low bees on there. I, I'm not going to send a paddy wagon. Just a protest, man. People are allowed to protest. Come on now. City center. Tiffany Lee, while visiting the local mall, encountered a hooded man who grabbed her expensive bag and bolted. She immediately called the police. Isn't the mall safe anymore? I remember still being in the building. Please hurry. Okay. Purdy Chin. It's all pun intended there. Yeah, see, I didn't need to send my freaking paddy wagon. I'm like, what's wrong with y'all? Back to the office. Come on, now. Alright, I'm going to let these guys get back first. Oh, guards locked the door. You turn your flood back out inside, looking for another way out. Halt. Pepper spray. Yeah! 
Yeah, pepper spray. Good job, pretty chin. Okay. Just a minute. Let them get back. There go. That's why, because all these people... Okay. Uh oh rain and storm and thunder and lightning. Oh, my. Uh, a woman put up a tent in the park and is inviting everybody to come by. A newly, highly profitable currency, which will rise ten times for value of the calories. Long line is already formed, and people are starting to push and curse each other. Okay. Kino in charge. Cochise. Granted, that Kendall is a Subaki. Okay. Wheel, 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 wheel. Look at that rain, huh? You're going sideways. Look at this. Um, if it's more serious, why don't we have a freaking... Yeah, I hate doing that. Yeah, that's why I hate doing that, because you get so many freaking... Ah. Frank Conroy's wallet was stolen at the bus stop. He quickly noticed the loss and he's hunting for the pickpocket with his friends. The group is blaming everyone in sight and the situation is quickly escalating. The matter may soon come to blows. <sighs> Dang it, man. I hate to send everybody. So everybody's out. Which is not good. Come on, hurry up with this. Counterfeiting. Just from one person, it escalated. Anyway, man. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, sure. Sell the money. Come on, get back. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, doggy. There we go. This orderly conduct. Man came in the, to the hospital with a very large dog. The dog was on a leash and wearing its muzzle. I'm betting I'm gonna have to send somebody else in this. I want to jump on the other patient. Duty nurse. The dirty nurse. Warned the man that it was against hospital policy to bring animals into the building, but the man just snarled her and refused to listen. Alright, go on, Purdy. Let's go get him, Purdy. Alright, I'm bound to get a Sans mission sometime here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This guy's the boss right here, man. Boss man right there. Prado. Prado. How do you want to say it? This is corn, corn money. Well, we got a mass riot. It's corn money. Uh oh. I say 100 people gathered in the park to protest construction of a new casino in the cemetery. Soon after, a group of pickup trucks pulled up and several strongmen climbed out. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Let's send, uh. Hmm. I'm not sending everybody. I need some backup here. Pepper spray a bunch of, bunch of people. Okay, Purdy. Good job. Good job, Purdy. Purdy. I'll party, party, party. Long day at the office here, brothers. Buddy's in full swing and some of the combatants are carrying weapons. <laughs> Shoot into the air. Um, it's around the park. There we go. Okay. Okay. See, I didn't need a whole freaking squad of people. Just need a good SWAT team to surround everybody and say, you guys step out, you're going to get shot. You're all going to die. You're all going to die. All right. 412 in progress. Live good mini market. Okay. So two. A young DJ upon exiting the store ran into a strange looking man wearing a black and red robe. First the man knocked his energy drink from the DJ's hands. Then told him of the merits of drinking human blood. And he became threatened. He demanded money. And he demand money. And he demanded da, 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 needy money for protection with the forces of darkness. Fight between the two men erupted during which the DJ suffered several bites. Decker then began to accost other passers by. But a fright group of teenagers then sunk his teeth in the shore of an elderly woman. Jesus, man. Bump appeals. Grant and a Yancey. Care of the vampire. Bump appeal. We might have to shoot him. With pepper blood. Right, almost midnight. Day 30. Hmm? On the side. Oh, we got three new frames. Alright, alright, alright. Don't have all the right frames yet. Right. I can't really do anything because this right here tells me I don't. I don't have all the right ones. Move on along that. 
No new frames. <sighs> this was being a pain, man. Let me see. This one? Yeah, it was. Alright, so let's... Don't like throwing other people on there, but... I don't have any other person. Okay, I'm just gonna have to wait. This sucks. Salt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Get him. Get him. Oh, this is my A team on Shift B. I got the A team on Shift B. Yes, made it through the day successfully. Everybody is a true hero. True hero. Uh oh. Uh oh. According to Mrs. Markham, I was supposed to spend all day thinking up the right words. But to my surprise, I did my best work when I shut my head off. I didn't even want to think why Laura decided we'd meet at 3 o'clock in the morning and in a restaurant we'd never gone to. I didn't know what to tell her. And something tells me she's no more ready for this meeting than I am. By nightfall, I finally stopped worrying. The right words would come when they were needed. And if they don't come at all, then so be it. Alrighty. 3 a.m. in the morning. Nothing good can come out of this one. So there's a new player on the scene. Uh-huh. Knew it, man. Knew it. I've heard said, when you're knocked out by a single blow, you don't have time to feel any pain. <laughs> well, that's a lie. It's painful as hell. Every day I spent in that coma, the pain was unbearable. Oh. Done for? What? <laughs> what is this? Oh no. Don't like these games. Wild corruptionist. Uh-oh. 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 What the f All right. Well, that was interesting. Day 55. Yes. I don't have to do 180 days. That was uh jeez man. I didn't even, I didn't know I could use the cursor at that point, so it's oh well. God I suck. Dang man. What the f Okay. Yeah, I heard about that already. But what if they decide to spill it to the papers? We need to start thinking now about covering our ass. Well, stick. I know people who can deal with this, but they'll need at least a week. Plus, if we wanted... Lieutenant Scott, I... I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have Jack Boyd on the line. Who? Who? Oh. Jack, Jack Boyd, Boyd, sir. Call it from the hospital. <sighs> Gibson, I'll call you back. Don't do anything without my team. Jack, well, wow. I didn't know you were awake. Doctor said you could be in that coma for months, even years. Huh. How are you feeling? Tell me who's in control, Martin. I don't think I follow you. For God's sake, Martin, tell me it's you running the department and not some stooge <laughs> from the mayor's office. Uh, yes, Jack. I am performing the duties of the police chief, but the new man's coming on Saturday, Kevin Paulson. He uh -oh. Kevin Paulson? Yes, it's the guy from the... I know who Kevin Paulson is. Now listen carefully, Martin. I'm coming back to work. I'm Freebird's police chief, and it's going to stay that way for another four months. Now you get on the phone and do whatever needs to be done. If you run into any problems, four months, five days. Them with the Six, media, four days. Court or blackmail. But I don't think it'll we'll give you any trouble. The mayor knows it's easier to just wait until the winter than deal with a scandal. I'll yeah. Assemble a press conference. 
Listen, Jack, I know the truth is on your side, but you have to take into account... Martin, how long since you transferred to my department? Uh, coming up on five years now. How many times in the last five years have you come to my birthday party? How many times have you come to the farm when I had the boys over? Uh, never had the pleasure, but... Never, because you couldn't care less. And I don't care for you either, Stet. It wasn't me who appointed you deputy, and uh, you wouldn't have been my first choice. But if you do ever come over to my house, you won't miss the big hole in my backyard. Garbage pit. You know, for old rubbish. A smelly hole filled with rotten furniture and other crap. So, Stet, if I even for a moment doubt your devotion, you'll go straight into that pile of trash. Maybe you'll get to catch up with some old friends. You remember Kendrick, don't you? I'll schedule the press conference Damn. tomorrow. All right, Jack? The day Get some. After tomorrow. tomorrow I'm going shopping. Pulling rank. Jeez. Okay, day 57. So we've passed 27 days in this episode. All right. You have a new car. Yes. Yes. I was just saying that. When am I ever going to get a new car? Told you. Just saying this. Yes. Oh, ooh, new clothes. We hope they'll make you feel younger. They're pretty spiffy. Bad colors, but pretty spiffy. Whoa, whoa. New hairstyle. Oh, I got new hair now. I'm not bald anymore. What the frick, man? We'll easily convince everyone that you are a king among men. Yes, sure. Oh, oh, and I can... Yes. True warrior. Mama true warrior. Hiya. One who will not suffer the idiots who stand in his way. You are independent and so confident. Okay. Oh, oh. Fashionable sunglasses. Yeah. Image of the peerless tiger. Proceed. Oh, look like at this. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And. Good morning. And. Good mo I guess I'm choosing one of these. Oh, the yellow. How can I help you? Oh. I know exactly what I want. Oh, the yellow. Yes, sir. Glasses well, make it clear that a lot depends on the decisions you make. Yes. Bye. Now you have new fashionable sunglasses. May they transform not only your parents, but how you feel. Oh, I did nice. That's kind of odd for this game. What's the point of that? No, that no. Be too much. Oh, okay, okay. Thought so. Yeah, I just spent 500 bucks on that, man. Come on. Oh. Really? Really? Day 58. Day 58. Dang. You're a fatty. You fat boy. Get out of that car, fat boy. Wow, Jack, what's with the outfit? You planning on the pit in the backyard, Martin? Yeah. Uh, remember about the pit in the backyard? Yeah. I'll talk to anyone before the press conference starts. I'll try to get you on stage quickly. Kevin Paulson is here. He wanted to. Jack. Yeah, I Jack. Recognize you. That's quite an image for a man like you. An old dog with a new trick, right? Bruh. We should see each other more often. Bruh. How's it been? Last time I saw you, I fired oh. you, Kevin. Was it the NRA? You mean the day Guns over Babylon. Protest over the corruption and lawlessness at your at police least. department, right? right? Yeah, repeat that shit often enough. Someday you might start believing it. You know, Jack, I'm glad that everything turned out so well. Unlike you, I've made good use of the past seven years. My new huh. construction company keeps getting jobs from the city, and we're doing yeah. really well. I have a new house, new hobbies, even yeah. a new wife. Maybe you've met her, Shelly Rogers. Huh. Oh, Shelly Rogers. So you really are in bed with the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dream nice. come true. All my dreams have come true. Only one thing remains, to bring order to the Freeburg Police Department. Oh. <laughs> you being serious, Kevin? I'm serious as ever, Jack. I'm the most serious man you know. Oh, except for myself. It's not often you see the past and the future of Freeburg police chiefs at the same press conference. <laughs> I hope you have time to talk, Kevin. There's something we need to discuss. Jack, 
The reporters are waiting for you. Oh man, hey press conferences, man. Oh, he's got to do these stinky damn things, man. My retirement plan somehow just got turned into a circus. Yep. Fortunately, I'm pretty good at swallowing swords. Uh, I don't know if I'd say that too loud. They all seem to like it. Swallowing swords. Never say that. If you're a grown man, never say that. Uh, good, good Morgan. This boy, is that a new hairstyle? Your eyes are playing tricks on me. You know the person attacked you? No. Okay. City Hall has yet to give a definitive answer as to whether you'll be returning to your post. Do you believe Roger will decide in your favor? Yes. A uh, police chief, he knows how things think. Do you think what happened to you somehow affected you? Oh, apparently I have no other choice. Uh, we'll see. Wait a minute, find out. Okay. Thank you. I don't care. Bye bye. Day 59. September 11th. Uh, 9 11. Anyway, since that's been a long one, since that was a lot of stuff that went on there, I think I'm going to end this episode on that note. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And when we come back, we'll do uh, from day 59 and see where this goes with it. Okay. So I'll see you in the next one. Later.